Ricardo Tishi has been at Givenchy for a year now, and in that time, he's taken us on something of a journey. Today's collection, for example, started with Hubert de Givenchy's concept of Parisian chic, that's rigorous, black and white. And then uh, Ricardo took us to, into a world of Aboriginal design, specifically the Maoris of New Zealand. I want to do something ethnic, my my ethnic, you know, communicate something which is, was mine. I really want to do this really Parisian, in the way a little bit fetish with the feeling of ethnic. I was really like researching a lot, but all the images I was finding was like all this amazing woman, this amazing man in front of this big like matka piece of fabric and getting portrait done with a man jacket, white shirt and really like a big tattoo on the face. For me it was so chic, you know, to see somebody elegant with like a, a real touch of ethnia. There was a story in that collection of, of worlds meeting, you know, different worlds actually colliding in a way. I really like to trans translate emotion and to get emotion from things. So like, you know, my emotion in this moment of my life was that, something completely eclectic in the way. This way is something that nobody would never do, like, you know, ethnic, my sophistication and avant-garde. It's something very weird going together. But in the way, like, you know, I experimented, I did my language, you know, my language to represent what I want to do. What I like most is the way he puts very, very different ideas together, like very, very sophisticated Parisian chic and then Aboriginal. The white shirt, the little jacket, an Aboriginal total look. I think I love that, you know? It's not frightened now. It's perfection now. I think it's very modern, but it's still very Givenchy. And it's just his third show. Can you imagine? Wait, next one. good about that show it wasn't corporate trash it wasn't perfect or overproduced or slick it kind of had that student real kind caring attempts at trying to change things and i loved it for that there's a definite sense that ricardo tishi is part of fashion's new wave he's definitely taking the august old house of givenchy to places it's never been before